21st of 2014. That was one year before they pulled off one of their more memorable wins in program history, taking down the then sixth-ranked Cavaliers, the traveling Navy Blue. It's the same starting five for Tony Bennett's bunch that began the game in their first game, and right out of the gates, it's a similar look to that first game as Ty Jerome zeroes in from long range. He's in it right out of the gates. Jerome wasting zero time as the Cavaliers have that five-point lead. We're seeing the patience by Virginia, not rushing into their first or second looks, being patient to find the highest quality shot they can, moving the ball around like they do so well. Kihei Clark comes into the game. He'll replace Hunter, who checks out with that quick foul here to start this opening half. And now the drive and the first score of the game for D.J. Williams. Our lineup for George Washington and absolutely rebounding a key. Potter got a good look at that shot but couldn't finish. Now it's Jack Salt. This time he will finish. He's known for his defense. He's an all-conference defensive team selection. Jerome goes right past his man, drives in for the easy layup. Virginia just needs to, when they string together a few stops, and they push you so high, your offense is starting almost close to half court. Speaking of half court, <laughs> how about that long ball from Ty Jerome? Joseph talked about losing all of that experience from a year ago. He said, what I really miss from the veterans more than anything is their experience. You don't get that from a, a box score. Those things that don't show up in the box score. He said Missoula is capable of all those things. What a feed from Guy to Huff with a two-hand flush. Guy feeds Jerome back to Guy. He fires one up from three, and he rattles another one through. Yeah, Offer yeah, him into the game, him. replacing D.J. Williams. The pass immediately in, and there's that field goal that had been eluding the Colonials. Is it was Missoula. It's the challenge for him on the defensive side of things for the Virginia team, but he can make up for some of those mistakes with that long reach. I mean, what makes him so dangerous is he's capable three-point scorer. Great shooter's touch, but has to be able to lock down defensively to see those minutes increase, especially as you talk about getting into conference play here. Kyle Guy squeezes off the jumper. Foot was inside the three-point arc. Ace is a wide body like Littles. He can get bullied out of the way, and that, that's not an easy thing, but it's a double-edged sword in many ways. Nice move down low for Maceo Jack. So George Washington finally getting that offense working a bit. Mamadi Diakite couldn't get it on the first try, but on the second effort, he'll stick it in for his first points. Guys that you can make an impact on. We'll talk a little more about that impact he's had with some of his players through the years. But this guy trying to get back on the score sheet, and he will do it with a circus shot and a foul. Get spin on that ball. Look at him turn the corner off that screen. He's looked much better already in this game, although he cannot connect there. But another steal for Jerome. Jerome scoops to the rack. He says, anything you can do, I can do better. He's going to go after that historic run through the regular season. Jerome lobs up for Diakite, and Diakite will finish with a soft lay-in. All New England player, 14 assists per game as a freshman for Brown. Nice dish from Jerome to Guy. Man, that no-look dish, it's nasty. Looking for their first three-pointer of this contest. They're 0 of 6 to begin the game today. Tyra Jerome just has a really good feel for the game. He's a veteran leader. He understands Tony's system at a high level, as there's the first three of the game now for George Washington. Does it on both ends of the floor. George Washington has spread all 15 of their points out across seven different scorers. And Kyle Guy finds the bottom of the net for a second time from three-point range. Having those two guys for the duration of most of this first half so far. And talking with, here's Kyle Guy on a curl, and he's got that hot hand now. Same spot he just buried one moments ago. Shot clock closing in on five seconds again. Where have we said that before? Williams tees up a beauty from the near wing. Is not going to want to see his team folded up. And so far, a good start for the Colonials to begin this second half. Despite the rather substantial deficit staring at him. And here's another long one. This time, Terry Nolan finds the bottom of the net. Coach of the Colonials. And he's got some history with his team. It was funny, Chelsea, in talking with him. Last time these teams played, it was an upset for George Washington as Jerome sinks one on the nice scoop shot. Virginia just two points, though, in the opening four minutes of the second half after rolling through the first half. DeAndre Hunter's been quiet, but comes up with a bucket right there. Up 10 points, four rebounds, four assists, and four steals. Actually, 12 points. Here's Clark. Got it. Hard to adjust to, just a different pace of game. 
Tell you more about that in a moment as guys pass deflected and Missoula will come away with it. But for Tony Bennett in his nine prior years here, including this season, and here's a nice move. He wanted to do and has absolutely stuck to his plan and stuck to the foundation and what this team is doing. Jerome loads and fires and same result. Here's Jack. The hedge out from Hunter and now that sets up a decent look at the shot and a good finish from DJ Williams. Kyle Guy, another one. It seems like every time Kyle Guy sees Ty Jerome make a shot, it feels like back and forth they go. GW trailed by 25 at halftime, fell behind 16 to 2, but now the shot's starting to go down. Sort of keep that fight alive for the rest of the game, but this is, you can grow a lot from playing a, a team like Virginia. Nice feed from Kihei Clark to DeAndre Hunter with a finish. Now it's Toro. Got it back again. Just look at the rotations by Virginia. See, I, that's where I think some of the frustrations are coming. That's going to go up on Shandon Brown. He has two fouls. Inbound pass to Hunter, and Hunter quickly scores it off the glass. Here's Braxton Key now for Virginia. Guy wants another. This would be number five, but it won't sink. Diakite there for the stick back. Just have this calm demeanor. Never too high, never too low, regardless of the score. Sort of just that. What a feed. Key to Diakite with a rim rocker. George Washington, after they got the offense working, has not scored in the last three minutes plus as Braxton Key uses that length to score inside. Now becomes the ninth different player to score in this game for Virginia. And Mamadi Diakite closes the door quickly on the attempt of the drive from Maceo Jack. You see the decision by Anthony to pull it back out. Coach Bennett calling to run through the offensive set. DeAndre Hunter slips through the defense. Easy lay-in, and Maurice Joseph can't like that. That snapped the 10-0 scoring run with that free, that free throw just moments ago. Marco Anthony out top to Huff, a little head fake. Now a nice feed, Diakite, another easy one up close. He's done a great job of getting George Washington off their feet. Look at that transition bucket, the three for Terry Nolan. He now has eight points in the second half, ten for the game, and here's the steal as Huff loses it. Ahead it goes to Williams, who will lay it in with Braxton Key in hot pursuit. It's going to be good fun to watch those two teams lock horns, not once, but twice in the regular season, and maybe more beyond that. Absolutely, and that's where you try to really impose your will. So he just comes out. He's been playing games. Statman, who just checked in, going to turn it over right out of the gates and going the other way for an easy layup as Terry Nolan will have a chance at a three-point play. Now it's Missoula getting handcuffed. Braxton Key gallops down the lane on the other side for the finger roll. He can play that guard position. He can also be swung, play down as a smaller forward, but really good handles, able to push and transition. Tough shot there for DJ Williams over two defenders. Zone rebound, and now Jerome passes up on the three. They'll milk some clock down. Jerome says enough is enough. Three ball, got it. Oh, right there, Jaden Nixon try to take it in, but thwarted. Longarica takes it down low, and he'll have an easy layup up close. He is officially on the ledger as a Division I college athlete. Longarica down low. Nice finish with a reverse layup.